Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Obviously, if you go, let's say, on YouTube and you um, cite BBC or, let's say, The Telegraph, um, the YouTube will not have a problem with uh, the, the statements coming from this, let's say, BBC, The Telegraph, and others, other uh, uh, accepted media outlets. Why? because they parrot uh, what uh, um, YouTube's owners want them to parrot. They're in the same group, they're in the same team, let's put it this way. So it is safe for me to read you an article that came in the Telegraph, but I will not use the Telegraph, I will use the new voice of Ukraine because that's where I found it. And um, I found out also that the guys in the East are more concise than the guys in the West. The guys in the West talk too much, and they have meetings, five hours long meetings that could be, uh, you know, uh, shrinked into about 30 minute, uh, 30 minute meetings. It happened to me um, being involved in the government. Uh, okay, we got meetings, long meetings, five minutes would have been in the information conveyed and questioned uh, and answers again done in 20 more minutes. But nevertheless, what do we have here? We have an article from the New Voice of Ukraine, as I said. It is, from it is from today, the 28th of May, 2024. And this is the title. Careful, careful. China prepares Navy for Taiwan invasion. The Telegraph says. Must be true. That's a statement. It's not like it could, it might, should, blah, 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 blah. No ambiguity. So let's read this beautiful article. Despite lack of landing ships in People's Liberation Army necessary for invasion, it can fill this gap with civilian vessels, dozens of giant ferries, each of which can carry hundreds of armored vehicles. The Telegraph reported on May, on May 26, on May. And I'm quoting, landing under fire is one of the most difficult maneuvers, and quote says Ray Powell, director of the Stanford University project Sea Light which studies activities in South China Sea Gray Zone. According to him, see, do you have a gray zone around the United States of America? No. Why not? <laughs> Back the fuck off. According to him, civilian ferries are not usually, I'm quoting, not usually suited for such a mission, end quote, but could be used to transport troops and mass across the Taiwan Strait after its coastal defenses are destroyed or to overwhelm islands military with large masses. End quote. According to the Le Telegraph, China considers Taiwan part of its territory and has vowed to take control of the island, possibly by force. Possibly, says who? Yeah, if these guys are getting crazy, maybe. U.S. intelligence believes... Oh, no, 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 It doesn't work that way. The intelligence doesn't believe. It knows. Or it doesn't. Okay, when you get an information, you verify it with at least three independent sources. You know, it's not like I, all right, I find out what, uh, let's say, my brother said, asking my mom, my dad, and my sister. No, that's only one source. That's the family. I have to go with a neighbor. I have to go with a friend. I have to go with a teacher. That's how you find out, and you put things together and say, well, this is what we found. All right, and when you say we believe. I believe pigs can uh, fly, and that's a belief for you. Or maybe, I don't know, I'm not going to go into the re other stuff that I usually go. Why? I don't feel like this time. <laughs> Let's go and read this. Okay. Uh, according to the Telegraph, China considers pop, pop, pop. The U.S. intelligence believes that Xi Jinping ordered PLA to be ready to seize the island by 2027. So they believe that Xi Jinping, the president of China, ordered PLA, the military, to be ready to seize the island by 2027. You either know the order or you don't know the order. It's not like believe, but anyway, maybe I'm a little bit, uh, you know, too serious here. <laughs> I've been too serious in many occasions uh, on my job. Uh, the, late, l the, the last one I'm talking about, this is not a job, no. This is an assignment. <laughs> well, uh, too serious sometimes, and you realize that people don't really give a fuck. No, especially when that's not their money. 
at stake if someone else's money. So, Taiwan's armed forces are much smaller than China's. <laughs> I'm reading, it's not me saying. <laughs> but they are protected by mountainous terrain and 110-mile Taiwan Strait. Chinese Navy already has world's largest surface fleet and has built dozens of dual-purpose ships capable of operating in both peacetime and wartime. In 2022, Tom Shugart, an anal analyst you know, at the center of the New American Security Estimate, I, I don't have time to look who this guy is and who's the New American Security, probably I'm going to find some Zelensky Steins over there too, estimate because they are smart. <laughs> I will tell you what, uh, yeah, I will tell you. Henry Ford, the Henry Ford, which I admire very much, not only because he built a uh, Model T or something, and he, uh, you know, brought the assembly line to its success. He didn't invent that, just so you know. So anyway, it's because of his view on certain kind of things. Um, he had the Deborn Independent, one of his newspaper, and he had uh, over there some little pamphlets. So he said, these guys are not smarter than us, us with the money. They're not better than us. He said, take them all. That's what he said. I'm just going to say what he said. He said, put them, if you make sure that you put them around with everybody else, businessmen, and you make sure they don't do any illegalities, they will end up the same everybody else ends up. They're not better. It's just that they cut the line and they cut the corners and so on. That's what uh, Henry Ford said. Now he was the businessman. I think he knows, he used to know a thing or two. Anyway, well, was he off? Yes. Was he on? Yes. Were you off? Yes. Were you on? Yes. The same here. Anyway, so this uh, guy from uh, the Center for a New American Security estimated that China's civilian ships could dramatically increase tonnage of military cargo that military landing craft can carry. This will allow them to transport about 300,000 troops and equipment across Taiwan Strait in about 10 days. Both Taiwanese and U.S. intelligence, I'm quoting, should begin to monitor China's key civilian vessels, key civilian vessels, in the same way they monitor its naval vessels, he wrote at the time. Well, the civilian ferries are part, so these guys are going to have ferries, okay? And we have escalation between China and Taiwan. No, it's between the United States of America and China using Taiwan. Let's make it clear. Chinese leader Xi Jinping on December 27 said that China's quote-unquote reunification with Taiwan is, I'm quoting, inevitable. Inevitable, end quote. He added that, and I'm quoting, this is the main national interest and this is what the people want. End quote, because he knows that, right? That's how these guys say, America, Americans want this, America wants that. Did you ask us all? No. So shut the f up. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, a, a member of the blee -blee -ba, ba ba alphabet community and I speak in the name of the community. No, you don't. Did they vote for you? All of them? Do you always talk in the name? You know what everyone wants at that particular time, point in time? about that issue? No. So when you hear, I, I represent the I, B, C, D, Q, uh, W community, wink, wink, I, and I, I know we don't want that. Did you talk to everybody? No, shut the fuck up. You don't represent them all. You think you are, but you're not. Anyway, so here again, he added that this is the same with Xi Jinping. This is what uh, uh, um, the people want. Some people, some people don't, obviously. <laughs> all right. Tension over Taiwan became one of the topics of conversation at meetings between U.S. and Chinese leaders. Why between U.S. and Chinese and not between Taiwanese and the Chinese? Because it's about U.S. and its interests over there. All right. So, it says, then, according to CNN, according to CNN, the most trusted pop pop who's uh, <coughs> infiltrated by certain kind of <coughs> agencies, it's owned, actually, I would say, but uh, we, we can't say that, uh, told Biden... Xi Jinping told Biden the United States must, and I'm going to take real action to fulfill its commitment not to support Taiwan independence. Okay, take action. Does it mean necessary physical action? Not necessarily. He also called the United States to stop arming Taiwan and support, and I'm quoting, peaceful reunification, end quote, of China. Taiwanese ministry, pa pa pa, pee pee pee, poop poop poop. So, what do you think? Will they uh, take it? Well, eventually. I think they will. Why? Because uh, United States of America 
showed its, how do you call it, uh, intentions very much in um, Russia. And that scared the shit out of, not scared. I don't think that dispersed because there was no any more doubts. So I don't, I can't say it dispersed the last doubts of China that the United States wants to take over. No, no, no. And you can't blame them. I mean, it's, it's a war. It's a, it's a war, economic war, political war, you know, informational war, propaganda war. There is. These are, when they say we're allies or we're friends, that's not true. We're allies in order to kick someone else's teeth right now in. And then when time comes, if that interest changes and my teeth need to be kicked in, they will do it. Even though yesterday we were allies. That's the way foreign policy is works. You don't think so? Unless someone owns someone else and then they're always allies. Like let's say the Americans and the Brits. They're always allies. Why? Because some people own both of them. It's like you go to a competition like a, uh, like a derby, like a horse r race. And you have two horses that belong to you, uh, United States, America, and Great Britain. Don't you think they will work together while they go around the track? Guarantee you that. They're not allies. They're owned by me. They have different names, different jockeys, different cocks, different all of that. But eventually it's going to be me. So if I say, you guys stay down, you guys go, that's what's going to happen. So that's the United States of America and Great Britain. They're not like the allies, like the countries, the people. the It's not that. It's someone above them. Whew. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So China will invade Taiwan. Probably. Probably. What are you going to do? Go and fight? Or are you going to... Or are you going to activate uh, the proxy war with the Japanese and uh, South Koreans and Taiwanese and all those? Huh? Maybe you're going to get the Aussies too. From Australia, mate. And New Zealand. That Annalena Ambalenda Prime Minister, she was a garbage. Garbage during the COVID-19. She was a tyrant. Pfft. As Stalin. If she would have been in Soviet Russia, I guarantee you she would have been worse than Stalin. She was in a democratic, free New Zealand and she did what she did to you guys. And uh, imagine that she was in Soviet. Soviet Russia. <laughs> to Soviet Union. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth. And be just.